you could spend hours doing this. On a pretty gloomy day. And that's probably why they got it for me. <laughs> Dr. Kanika Bowenjalo lights up. Got this as a Christmas gift. With a memory from her childhood. I always love taking stuff apart and putting it back together again. The game, Operation. These pieces actually helped lay the foundation of who she'd become. I always knew I wanted to be a surgeon um, since I was like, mm, Second grade. Second grade, he wanted to be a surgeon <laughs> in second grade. Dr. Bowen Jallo now operates on real patients at Cook Children's in Prosper. Adults are fantastic, but kids are so resilient. Something she can appreciate. The American Pediatric Surgical Association recently recognized her as the ninth black female pediatric surgeon in the U.S. ever. So it was a surprise to me that people thought it was a surprise. She was in school for eight years before she saw a surgeon who looks like her. Well, it wasn't until I jumped into actually starting to learn how to perform surgery that I met other black surgeons. The representation gap in medicine isn't new. COVID-19 illuminated it, but it also led to an uptick in black med school applicants around the country. I am extremely happy that we are going to have more representation within mm -hmm. our medical schools. Right now, we are underrepresented minorities across the board are underrepresented in medicine. One of the few bright outcomes of the pandemic and one of her focuses now that she's here. What I can do as a mentor that we're going into schools, that we're seeing kids. It shouldn't be that when you get to, it takes college before you realize there are black people in medicine. A lifelong knack for putting things back together turned passion for creating space and vision for others to do the same. The people that are growing up right now are going to have that opportunity even more so. Her goal is to help light the way. In Prosper, I'm Morgan Young.